Hello there. I'm Ted Taylor, and I have glioblastoma multiform known as GBM. I know how devastating it is to hear this news firsthand, and I relate to you. So I make videos about GBM and what I have learned to share with you and your loved ones. I do not have any official or formal medical training, dietary training, or any other medical professional designation. These videos do not provide medical advice and are intended for informational purposes only. It is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Join me on this journey, and we'll walk this path together. Hello again. We return today to discuss MGMT methylation. MGMT methylation is a little tricky but stick through to the end of the video and I hope you are better informed and able to talk with your medical team and family with improved understanding and what is the importance of MGMT methylation on your pathology report. What is MGMT methylation? This is one of the first and early tests you should receive on your tumor. I think it should be automatic, but it may not be the default that this test is completed or that you were informed of the result. I requested this test to be completed and to receive the results. MGMT is methylguanine methyltransferase. That is a real mouthful, I know. Methylation, in a nutshell, is whether a gene is turned on or off. We will discuss this in more detail later. After surgery and recovery, your first treatments with glioblastoma will likely include chemotherapy. The most likely version of this is temozolomide, also known as temodar. It is one of the most significant breakthroughs in GBM treatment in the past 10 to 15 years and may provide additional weeks of life expectancy. There are not a lot of drugs that can make it through the blood-brain barrier. Your brain is protected by the blood-brain barrier so that harmful substances such as viruses, bacteria, or other nasties find it difficult to get into the brain. This works to our advantage most of the time, but when we are trying to deliver drugs to the brain to attack the brain cancer, the blood-brain barrier prevents most options from working efficiently. Some temozolomide can make it through the blood-brain barrier, and as a result, it can work as a chemotherapy drug. It is designed to work best to take it while undergoing radiation therapy. The two treatments may work together in synergy to a greater effect than either one on their own. As I said earlier, temozolomide may provide additional weeks of life, but for others it may provide more or less time. It may keep the cancer at bay if it is effective. We will discuss this further in the temozolomide video which you can find on my channel. The topic of MGMT can be confusing, so feel free to watch this video multiple times to come to a clear understanding. It is helpful to understand that we all have MGMT genes in our body. It is either methylated or unmethylated. Unmethylated means the gene is active and the MGMT works as it should in the body. Methylated means that the MGMT does not work as it should in the body. If we have GBM, we want our MGMT to be methylated, i.e. not working. Back to MGMT methylation. Due to large variations in different studies, we know that about 30 to 60% of GBM patients will be MGMT methylated. If you are one of these people, it can be an advantage. DNA is made of four letters, G, T, A, and C. The target of temozolomide is the G. In the DNA of the GBM cancer cells, temozolomide attaches to the G, guanine. The temozolomide molecule attaches to the G and prevents the DNA strand from synthesizing or reproducing. Additionally, radiation therapy also damages the DNA of cancer. If you have unmethylated MGMT, both the damaged DNA from the temozolomide and the damage that was caused by the radiation therapy will likely be repaired by the body using the MGMT enzyme. The MGMT enzyme will strip the marker off the G guanine and stop or reduce the effectiveness of the temozolomide. This is why 
Unmethylated MGMT in glioblastoma equates to a poorer prognosis. MGMT is a protein or enzyme that repairs DNA. If unmethylated MGMT sees the temozolomide molecule attached to the G guanine, it will strip it off, rendering the temozolomide mostly ineffective. Imagine that the G has a hat on it and that the hat causes the DNA not to be able to reproduce and instead causes it to die, known as cell apoptosis. The unmethylated MGMT goes around and finds any Gs with hats on them and it removes the hat. If we are taking a drug to help kill the cancer by attaching to the guanine and preventing the DNA strand from reproducing, we do not want this to be prevented by our body's own system. What does methylation mean? A gene has two ends to it, a promoter end and a functional end of the gene. If the promoter end is methylated, it is turned off. As a result, the functional end of the gene does not work. If a glioblastoma tumor is methylated, it means that the MGMT protein is not being produced and therefore the molecule will not be removed from the G-guanine. Essentially, the temozolomide that successfully makes it to the cancer cells are not stripped off and can do their job. Because this is a challenging concept, I decided to create an animation that may help better understand the MGMT methylation or unmethylation. So in this first slide, we can see that your DNA is made up of adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. In this next slide, we can see a chromosome. The sequence of bases in a portion of a DNA molecule called a gene carries the instructions needed to assemble a protein. A gene has two ends to it, a promoter end and a functional end of the gene. If the promoter end is methylated, it is turned off. As a result, the functional end of the gene does not work. If a glioblastoma tumor is methylated, it means that the MGMT protein is not being produced and therefore the molecule of temozolomide will not be removed from the G-guanine. Essentially, the temozolomide that successfully makes it to the cancer cells can do their job because the temozolomide molecules are not stripped off and can do their job. In this slide we see this is MGMT methylated, which means the MGMT protein is not produced. And on one side of the screen, we see the promoter end of the gene, and the other side, we see the functional end of the gene. In this slide, we can see the DNA molecule, and we see the A, C, G, and T represented above. On this animation, we can see the temozolomide slash temodar is representing as the hat and it is sitting on the G or guanine. In this slide, we see that because there was no MGMT that was produced, there was no MGMT to remove the hat or the temozolomide temodar. So as a result, this has led to cell apoptosis or cell death. In this slide, we see that the MGMT is unmethylated, which means the MGMT protein is produced. On one side, we see the promoter end of the gene and that it is functioning. And on the other side, we see the functional end of the gene where MGMT is being produced. On this slide, we see again the DNA strand and the temozolomide slash temodar is sitting on the G for guanine. And MGMT is on its way as the body does not want this and it wants to remove this from the guanine. In this slide, we see the MGMT is getting closer and soon it will be removing the hat or the temozolomide temodar. In this slide, we can see that the MGMT has reached its target, which is the temozolomide slash temodar 
molecules sitting on the top of the G guanine. And in this final slide, we can see that the result of this is that the MGMT has done its job and removed the hat or the temozolomide slash temodar from the G guanine. And it is not able to do its job. Therefore, the cell continues on, in this case, the cancer cell. This is why it is important to know if you are MGMT methylated positive or negative. You want to be MGMT methylated positive. MGMT positive patients in the glioblastoma population had significantly longer overall survival, which is usually abbreviated as OS. When compared to MGMT methylated, methylated patients example overall survival 32.8 months versus 12.4 months for unmethylated patients. If you are not MGMT methylated, positive, do not lose hope or be too disappointed. Although the prognosis is improved for approximately 30 to 60 percent of GBM patients with MGMT methylation, it is not the only factor that may help. There are other steps you may be able to take. Each of these steps is time sensitive and they have been important to me. Remember, glioblastoma is incredibly challenging, but with some knowledge and understanding, we may increase our odds of fighting this terrible disease. I encourage you to watch the other videos in this series and become knowledgeable so you can make informed decisions with your medical team, family, and friends. It should also be noted that if you are MGMT unmethylated, temozolomide may still have a beneficial effect. For some people, this could be important. There is no way to know unless you try. The information above gives you both a better understanding of how it works and the probabilities of being MGMT methylated positive or negative. But there is no definitive answer here. People will react differently. And this is why I always encourage you to learn all you can and then make informed decisions with your medical team, family, and friends. There is a lot of technical information in this video, so watch it as many times as you need to get a good understanding and then discuss it with your medical team, family, and friends. To help make these videos possible, please subscribe to my channel, watch each video to the end, click on the like button in each video, and ask your family and friends to do the same as this is fortunately not a large community of people with GBM. Additionally, any products that I suggest or recommend are linked below to which I may receive some proceeds at no additional cost to you to help with the costs of these videos. Also, if you feel compelled or if you can help, please log on to my Patreon page as seen on screen. You can provide a gift that will assist me in making these videos. Please leave any positive or encouraging comments below. And remember, this is information I have learned and it is helping me. It may or may not provide benefit to you. God bless you. I hope you find these videos are helpful and can make a difference in your life. Please consult your medical team before following any steps I have taken on my journey. I will see you in the next video.